Look what's coming next. Ja'Kerry Richardson back at Hayward Field against the Tokyo Podium at 100 meters. Picture and now you see her amongst the nine women in this race. The 21-year-old Sha'Carri Richardson won the Olympic trials here in June, but the evening after that race, she tested positive for marijuana, which she said she used to help cope with the death of her biological mother. That positive test invalidated her result from the trial, so she could not compete at the Olympics. But her situation generated a lot of sympathy, and the track world has been eagerly awaiting her return to the track today, exactly nine weeks after that stirring victory on this track in June. And let's look at the field going up against her, the world champion, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, part of that Jamaican podium in Tokyo. Nobody has a better collection of 100 meter medals. She has medals from each of the last four Olympic finals. Here is Shakari Richardson, number six all time. She has one loss this year at 100 meters. That was in Gateshead back in May. Here's the young lady now, the fastest woman alive, Elaine Thompson Harak, 10.61, pointing at the clock into a headwind to win the Olympic final in Tokyo. She did the double double, winning the 100 and the 200 in successive Olympic Games. And here is a frustrated young lady, Marie Jose Talu of the Ivory Coast, fourth in the final in Tokyo. She was also fourth in the Rio Olympic Games. Mujinga Kambunji of Switzerland. She also made the final at both 100 and 200 meters in the Tokyo Olympic Games. And outside in lane nine, that's Brianna Williams, part of the Jamaican quartet that won gold in Tokyo, the four by 100 meter relays, coached by one Otto Bolden. She's the youngest in the field at 19, but this is the showdown that everybody was expecting in Tokyo. The entire podium is here. Sharika Jackson third, Shelly Ann Fraser Price second, and on the left there, Elaine Thompson Hurrah, the gold medalist in both the 100 and the 200. And they've put Shakari Richardson in the middle. Nine talented women on this track right now, but the world thinking this is Richardson versus the Tokyo podium in the women's 100. <laughs> I think Tiana Daniels out in lane one trying to cut through the tension here by holding her hand up and we'll have a restart here. You can feel it in the stadium right now. This is what big races are supposed to feel like. You're supposed to feel nervous no matter where you are in the stadium. Tiana Daniels was the only American to make the Olympic final this year and she was the only American to make the world championship final two years ago in Doha. There's Javian Oliver, who was second at the U.S. Trials on this track, but didn't make the final in Tokyo. This crowd is completely hushed. Richardson this... said she didn't think that she would be nervous coming into this race, but wants to perform well, and she is sandwiched between the two greatest Jamaican sprinters ever. And arguably two of the best ever. So before this race even starts, two 10 sixes versus all these 10 sevens never happened before in history. Women's 100. And a good start for Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Thompson hurrah. Richardson being left behind. And out in front, the Olympic champion does it again. 10.54. That is the second fastest time ever. Only Floto has run better. And the Olympic champion reminds you why she is the twice now reigning Olympic champ. That was an amazing 100 meters. She made it look easy. No contest. What happened to Shakari Richardson? So the Olympic podium comes to Pre and duplicates their finish there. Thompson hurrah first, Fraser Price second, Jackson third, and it's Tiana Daniels with a big step up in form to run 10.83 for four. So here is Elaine Thompson, hurrah. 
since she got third at the Jamaican Olympic trials, she has been on a tear. Her coach said she's in the shape of her life, and she has proven it. No contest at the Olympics and no contest here. There is no question who the world's fastest woman is. It's Elaine Thompson Hurrah of Jamaica. And her countrywomen did a good job as well. 1073 for Shelly Ann Fraser Price and 76 for Sharika Jackson. And look at the reaction of the Olympic champion. Yet another personal best for her in 2021. She was all already in rarefied country com company as being only one of two people to have won back-to-back -back 100 and 200 Olympic doubles. That, of course, Usain Bolt. But this kind of performance absolutely reinforces what we saw in Tokyo. Meantime, Sha'Carri Richardson finishing ninth in the race, and she's with Lewis Johnson. Well, Sha'Carri, what was your expectation as you came out here today um, to face these ladies from the Olympic Games? Coming out today, it was a great return back to the sport. I wanted to be able to come in before, um, having a month off, dealing with all I was dealing with. I'm not upset at myself at all. <laughs> this is one race. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> you know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the shit you want, because I'm here to stay. I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest woman in this game ever. And can't nobody ever take that from me. Congratulations to the winners. Congratulations to the people that won, but they're not done seeing me yet. Period. All right. Thank you, Shakari. Thanks, Lewis, and we do apologize for the colorful language from <laughs> Shakari, but she's making a point. She's not done. But right now, it's the Jamaicans celebrating in the building where green is a popular color at the University of Oregon.